Hello and welcome back everyone to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about Amazon Pinpoint. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. Pinpoint is basically like SNS, simple notification service, but at a more broader spectrum. With Pinpoint, you can have inbound and outbound marketing communication service. You can have two-way communication service. In SNS, we were only pushing the messages to the subscribers. But herein we can do outbound and inbound. Both the kinds of marketings can be done. Moreover, it supports email based notification. It supports SMS based notification. It even supports push notifications. I hope you know what push notifications are. Like sometimes, like when uh, I'll give you an example, when you log in on to Gmail and you are logging on from a new device, then at that time, at that time, it says that it seems that you have never logged in from this device. Kindly approve your login from already logged in device. So when you click on proceed, there will be a message which will be displayed on your current mobile where you have logged in on your Gmail. When you click yes or approve on this push message which pops up on your mobile, your login to the new browser or new device will be successful. Or if I give you another example, nowadays it is very common. Whenever you are using online payments, and you do UPI based payment. Whenever we do an online shopping, we are required to use online payment portals. Now, we have got multiple payment portals nowadays who gives us the same service. Like in India, there are payment portals which are being used is Paytm. We are using Google Pay. There is another software called Phone Pay. Nowadays, they are even giving Amazon Pay. So, these are the multiple portals via which we can do our online payments. But at the end of the day, all these payment portals are required to communicate with your bank. Now, suppose say if you are doing shopping at any website and over there, there are payment options which are given. So, what you can do is like suppose say I am using Google Pay. So, what will I do is I will integrate the Google Pay with my bank and we can generate a UPI for my bank account. So, whenever I am doing an online payment rather than me entering my credit card or debit card details on the website portal, I can simply enter my UPI which could be like suppose say I have an account in ICICI. So, suppose say I have got Nisha at the rate OK. I C I C I. So this will be my UPI code. So if I enter that particular UPI code on my online purchase, there will be a pop up message which will come onto my payment application. So when I will open my Google Pay on my mobile, I'll get a notification that uh, maybe like I'm I was doing my purchasing at Mintra. It is an online shopping website. I'm doing the shopping at this website, Mintra. So I will get a pop-up notification saying that uh, Mintra is requesting to pay 2,500 rupees. If I click pay now on that button, then my payment will get executed after entering the security code. So that is also a kind of push message which has been given from the website or the application or the web portal from where you are doing the purchase to your payment gate. So such kind of things can also be done via the pinpoint. You can send a voice call also or you can give the in-app messaging like the one, the similar one which I was discussing few seconds before. So all these types of notifications can be sent to your subscribers and you can even receive the replies also. Like once I have given a notification to my Google Pay. Once the payment is done successfully, 
my application server who has given a push notification to google pay to pay 2500 rupees my google pay can reply back to my server saying that the payment has been done successfully so that my shopping website can place my order and we can proceed so it can even receive the replies via the pin point in sns we were only able to send the notification we were not able to receive the notification and moreover this push voice in app notifications were not possible but with pin point you can basically catch your customer from everywhere that is what amazon's pin point service is okay so it is you know like uh, it is even written versus amazon sns and ses because it has it is basically if you compare it it is said that sns and ses you manage each message audience content and delivery schedule in amazon pinpoint you create the message template and the delivery schedule once and a big range of audiences can get the targeted message or receiver of the message can also be done so with so basically your pinpoint is an advanced version of your sns or ses so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on amazon aws solution architect certification for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about why and who should learn aws cloud services deployment models and aws services as well and the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs job opportunities along with docker and kubernetes in aws and amazing amazing stuff so if you want to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash aws sa02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select your event date add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat and after that you'll be seeing this kind of page you just have to save this link on the extreme right add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning